Hi guys, welcome to another uh, video clip of MrLopezClasse.com. In this video clip, we are going to analyze the different type of uh, marine alloys, naval alloys, marine alloys. This uh, video clip at the end is condensated in another great poster, this poster. And uh, this poster, once again, is available in my webpage www.mrlopezclasses.com Visit, check on uh, posters and uh, you found it with other posters this special poster dedicated to naval alloys or marine alloys Ok guys, the marine alloys are divided into ferrous alloys and non-ferrous alloys That's the main division you remember at the beginning of our course of corrosion those alloys are divided in ferrous alloys, alloys based on iron, and non-ferrous alloys, alloys based on other metals different than iron. The ferrous alloys yeah, are alloys based on iron with other, with other ingredients like chromium, molybdenum, carbon, vanadium, silicon, nickel, and other ones. But those are the most important contents into the ferrous alloys. Remember that the ferrous alloys are divided in cast irons and steels. And the steels are divided in low carbon, medium carbon and high carbon steels. Those are ferrous alloys. But uh, for marine applications, the alloy that is important, the alloy that we need is stainless steel. A stainless steel is the, the, the alloy prefer for marine application, but not all the stainless steels are allowed in marine applications. A stainless steel series 304, excellent. The other name for the 304 is 18A. You remember? 18A. No? How much 18 is the amount of chromium and A the amount of nickel. No? 18% of chromium and 8% of nickel. Other uh, alloy is a stainless steel 316 or 1810. The stainless steel 316L, low carbon, and a stainless steel 304L, low carbon. Aqualoy, Aqualoy 17, Aqualoy 19, Aqualoy 22, stainless steel alloys used in uh, propeller shafts. You remember in our book of intro, the propeller chaps fabricated in Aqualoy 17, 19, and 22. Those are the most common ferrous alloys used in marine application. Remember, the series 304 and 316s are used for, uh, for hardware. And the series 316s are used in the fabrication of uh, uh, through holes and uh, other special components in direct contact with the salt water. Right? Those are ferrous alloys. And now we are going to, those are the ferrous alloys, now we are going to continue with the non-ferrous alloys. The non-ferrous alloys, those are the non-ferrous alloys, based on copper, based on aluminum, based on nickel, and other ingredients like a zinc, a silicon, a tin, a beryllium, a magnesium, lead, and other additional ingredients. Those are non-ferrous alloys. And we have famous non-ferrous alloys. We are going to check aluminum alloys used in marine applications. It's uh, the aluminum series 5000. Aluminum series 5000, and uh, the, the most common are the aluminum 5052 and the aluminum 5086. Those are common uh, uh, alloys used in the fabrication of holes in the fabrication of brackets, supports, very, very common. Uh, other other uh, series uh, commonly uh, used is uh, the uh, aluminum series uh, 6000. We have uh, aluminum 6060, 61, 62, 63, 6101, 62, 62, 64, 63. And this one I included here is not series 6000, it's the 7075. It's a series 7000, but it's the, practically the unique 
uh, alloy recommended for marine applications. All of those are series of uh, aluminum, marine grade, naval alloys, aluminum alloys. And uh, now we are going to check uh, non-ferrous alloys based on uh, beryllium and copper. Beryllium and copper alloys. Those are the most famous. Beryllium copper 172, beryllium copper 173, and the mold max, mold max is a famous uh, uh, beryllium copper alloy with high, high resistance uh, for uh, corrosion, uh, high resistance for acids, yeah, commonly, commonly used in marine applications. And uh, now we are going to continue with the nickel copper. The nickel copper alloys, nickel copper alloys, uh, you remember famous uh, nickel copper, Monel, Monel 400 for the fabrication of uh, propeller shafts, you remember, and Monel K500. Both of them commonly used in the fabrication of uh, uh, shafts. Uh, nickel alloys uh, 200, 201 and 233. Famous, famous nickel copper alloys. Nickel copper alloys. Nickel is magic, remember. Nickel inhibits corrosive properties and increase and, and increase surface resistance. Okay, those are nickel copper alloys, and now we are going to continue with other famous alloy is nickel bronze aluminum. Nickel bronze aluminum alloys. Ah, oh, the most famous is Nibral. You remember where you found that Nibral? Yes, in the fabrication of propellers. Nibral. It's uh, commonly used in the, the fabrication of inboard propellers. Because remember, the outboard propellers, the most common are in stainless steel, 304, 316, or in aluminum. In aluminum alloy series, series 5000. Okay? Uh, this is uh, um, the nickel bronze, and the other one is silicon bronze, silicon bronze alloys. Silicon bronze alloys that are famous, the topping bronze is a silicon bronze alloy. The naval bronze C470, uh, some uh, manufacturers they say naval brass. I don't want to use the term brass, because brass have high, high content of zinc in between. 40 and 60% of zinc. And you remember that zinc attract, attract oxygen. For that reason, I prefer mention naval bronze. Silicon bronze, uh, 954, and silicon bronze, 655. Common, common silicon bronze alloys. Don't forget, those are the most common uh, alloys, non ferrous alloys, used in marine applications. Try to use those alloys for hardware, for fabrication of brackets, supports. If you need fabricate parts for your boat, use naval alloys. Use recommended alloys. And try to use uh, fabricators, welders specialized in those alloys. Try to uh, use uh, uh, fabricators, welders with experience in the marine field. Because, uh, as you know, in the marine field, we need a uh, special materials and special techniques.